With over £600 million gambled in Liverpool's betting shops in the last year, City bosses are appealing to the government to help bring that figure down. Research taken by the Campaign for Fairer Gambling shows that money pumped into electronic gambling machines across Merseyside accounted for 80% of the bookies' turnover in 2012. Councillors are now calling for these machines to be banned. Well, fixed odds betting terminals um, are legal in betting shops. You can have up to four of them in any one betting shop. You can gamble up to £100 a spin um, on these machines. So it's like having a casino up and down the high street. Well, there's lots of people in Liverpool and in other cities who are getting into real financial difficulties because of these fixed odds betting terminals. I've heard from people who are gambling um, up to £100, I'm sorry, £1,000 a session um, on, some of these, on some of these machines. So we need to take action on that. Those people are getting into all kinds of financial difficulties. It's affecting relationships, it's affecting families, it's affecting... Um, household budgets, people having to go to um, loan sharks, some people are even getting into crime because of this. So we need to take action against this. And what we want is government to give councils the power to be able to regulate these machines. With games such as roulette, blackjack and Texas Hold'em poker offering jackpots of up to £5,000 to punters, they often find themselves risking a lot more money to win big. We've had a huge amount of backing. I've had um, overwhelming backing from Liverpool City Council. Um, it was agreed unanimously at the City Council um, last week, so all 90 councillors from all political parties back that. I've been overwhelmed by the amount of backing that I've had from MPs both in Liverpool and nationally, but also from ordinary people. Um, you know, I've been, you know, had lots and lots of people contact me about this, saying they support this campaign. I've had lots of people who've um, got issues with gambling, who you know, are part of Gamblers Anonymous, who are saying, come to Gamblers anonymous see just how prevalent this issue is how many people are affected by this there's one guy I spoke to who's been and um, going to gamblers anonymous for 26 years and um, they used to have about 10 people in his group now they've got about 40 people in the group and most of those new people the overwhelming majority of those new people are there because of fixed odds betting terminals with Prime Minister David Cameron promising to take a proper look at the regulations we may have seen the last of the city's problem gambling